I am Crisco. The story you are about to see unfolding on the silver screen is a strange story indeed. Stranger than the strangest tales of antiquity. Stranger than the latest marvels of man's super science. Yes, even in this bold new age of the electric toaster oven and the fully automatic transmission, disaster, terror, and doom still loom like a hideous clown-like dwarf molesting human destiny. I am Crisco. I predict in the year 1951, civilization will face its greatest challenge. Audience, beware. Leave this theater now before your bowels empty into your pants. You who remain are about to witness a story so terrible, so disgusting, that no living human brain can withstand it and remain sane. You will pay the ultimate price for viewing the terrible true story of zombies. Zombies! Zombies from outer space! And yet, even from the greatest of horrors, irony is seldom absent. It will all begin on a fine spring day in a typical American cemetery. cemetery. Oh, the TV reception sucks. TV bad. Oh, my family. Garbage. Everyone, sit down. Shut up. Behave now. Ah, uh, uh, that's better. Ah, uh, uh, hemorrhoids hurt. Ah, uh, uh, what? What? Who are you? Oh, no. Ah. Uh. <gasps> Girl, Barbie Q, 
and her expendable boyfriend, Buford, are enjoying a romantic stroll, pledging their hearts to one another. But their love is fated never to fester. It's so peaceful. I wish we could spend eternity here together forever. And now, the ultimate horror. Their insane, bestial lust, unsatisfied, the fiendish zombie horde will ravage the defenseless Earthian graves. I predict they will consume the flesh of the living and the dead, tearing apart, rotting, real corpses. These are not mannequins you see here, not at all. Look at those boys dig. But hark, a mysterious message from the depths of outer space. Beyond the yawning abysses of interstellar space, beyond all sane conceptions of time and reality, where only gibbering madness reigns, lies Planet Plankton. Yes, Planet Plankton. In all the countless universes of evil, there is no planet more evil than planet Plankton, a dying world doomed to perdition, soon to be destroyed by its own hellish internal fires of lust. Attention, heroic Earth zombies. Phase nine, plan three is now implemented. Kill. Destroy, mutilate, Earth must be ours. We will send more saucers, more zombie warriors. Ha, ha, ha. Calculate your chances now, Earthlings. Forward goes the dread saucer of doom, powered by forbidden science. We interrupt this program for a special Kill TV emergency news bulletin. This is Rather Brokoff speaking to you live from the studios of Kill TV with this emergency late-breaking story. For many weeks now, rumors of an invasion by outer space aliens have been growing all across this great land, from Manhasset to Maine. From every town USA, reports have come in concerning the appearance of flesh-eating robot zombies. Zombies from outer space. Although many around the world have seen and been attacked by flesh-eating robot zombies from outer space, many in government, many of the top scientists, army generals, and pointy-headed intellectuals in high office deny the very existence of these zombie invaders. But we at Kill TV have recently obtained exclusive footage of zombies engaged in actual atrocities. Although the first victims of the zombies appear to be mere seaside morons, note the cool professional way in which these alien invaders liquidate them. Not only is their appearance extremely frightening and awe-inspiring, but their death rays are obviously the product of a vastly more highly advanced civilization than ours, causing paralysis and death in a shorter time than any weapon our primitive society has been able to attain. Yes, these are top-rated alien invaders, the finest in efficient and stylish planetary domination and extermination. I'd like to thank the Zombie Public Relations Office for kindly providing this footage of their latest depredations. Hey, thanks, guys. We appreciate it. But while the zombies are moving irresistibly to seize our planet, what are our own military leaders doing to meet this new alien threat? Are they responding to this menace or just sitting on their fat butts soaking up free soft drinks and ding-dongs at the taxpayer's expense? To answer this question, we have arranged for a live film remote broadcast from the secret military air base where General Herpes Simplex has just returned from a top-secret international conference at the North Pole. We now go to the famous Kill TV news clown Jim Briskin, standing by at the secret military air base. Jim? Let's go talk to him now about this new threat. General! 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 
Is it true that the top secret conference that you have been attending at the North Pole for the last month concerns a new alien invasion? I cannot discuss that. Oh, yeah? Well, reports have been coming in from all over the country, from Manhasta, Maine, from every town, USA. Reports of flesh-eating robot zombies, drinking the blood of the living, eating the flesh of the dead. Is are these reports true? What do you say about... Uh, uh, wait a second, General. Wait a second. You can't pull me off so easily. The people demand to know. They demand to know. Are you and other members of the International Anti-Alien Defense Command League soft on zombies? Are you soft on aliens? Are you playing footsie with evil, perverted monsters from outer space, huh? Sir. You traitor, you, huh? I have never thought to live to see, see the day after my years of sacrifice in the service of my country when I would be accused of playing footsie with the enemies of these United States. Have, have, have you so soon forgotten? Our Earth is surrounded on all sides by evil space beings who want this planet for their own. The entire universe is conspiring against us. We have met their attacks before. The entire universe is evil and perverted. Their first attacks tried to break our will to divide and weaken us. But they soon felt the awesome power of atomic annihilation. They were driven off our fair planet. All nations banded together to defend Earth against alien perversion. Patriotic Americans and dirty commies were together for the first time in a holy cause of shared hatred. Hatred for the evil invaders from outer space who were sure to strike again. And strike they did. Their plan was to raise the dead and turn them into telephone solicitors to scare us off the planet. But an atomic one-two punch soon incinerated their plan. Once again, we triumphed. As you know, the victory we had won was only temporary. Again, aliens launched a deadly attack against us. This time, outer space mobs just took over New York. They turned a once peaceful and beautiful metropolis into a seething cauldron of violence, lust, and degradation. But an atomic triple whammy purified the entire east coast of their evil subversion. And yet, our cunning enemies from the stars did not give up. They launched their most fiendish attack upon us. An attack so treacherous, so monstrous, that it nearly succeeded. Giant alien insects tried to pick up our women. No Earthian female was safe from their outer space lust. The fate of these women was worse than death. But an atomic reign of destruction stopped their disgusting plans. Our degraded women were redeemed by the purity of cleansing atomic fire. Earth was purified once again. Once again, monsters from outer space had been brought to bay. But you should know this and your vast television audience as well. If there is a new alien invasion, we will destroy it utterly. All aliens attacking our planet, molesting our women, eating our corpses, must take this as a warning. They will be annihilated. It is better to suffer the short, sweet agony of atomic holocaust than to live as slaves under perverted monsters from outer space. But, but General, what about what about this, this new threat, General? What about it, huh, huh, huh? If there were a threat, then this threat must be met by a special kind of man. Oh, yeah. A man not afraid to get his hands dirty. A man strong enough to get down in the cesspool with aliens and mud wrestle them into submission. Yeah. A man like Major Kent Bendover, head of our new Zombie Defense Corps. Now, I must go and resume my duties. General. 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 Over here, General. General. This way, General. 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 Your wife? This way, General. General. There you have it, folks. Keep watching KILL TV for latest developments in this exciting life or death struggle with alien invaders. <laughs> Thank you, Jim Briskin. Yes, as General Simplex has so well put it, we must all band together against alien perversion in our cities, in our schools, in our homes, and in our sanitary facilities. Stay tuned to Kill TV for the latest in developments in the zombie story. And for those of you who are not watching this broadcast live, but instead are viewing it as part of a so-called entertainment rental video, I urge you to stay tuned as well. If you watch long enough, you'll get to see me, your Kill TV news anchor, several times before the world is destroyed. And besides, if you stop the tape now, you've completely wasted the rental cost of this tape. So stay tuned to Kill TV for further developments. I, Chris Cole, predict. I predict that in Earth's darkest hour, one fearless figure will arise. 
one man who holds humanity's faith in his pudgy hands. That man will be Major Kent Bendover. The nation's fearless news media reports on the crisis. They are there in an instant to keep Earthlings informed. Nothing can stand in the way of the news. up pretty bad, huh, Major? Well, one thing's for sure, these people are all dead, completely murdered, and someone is responsible. Better call the coroner, Charlie. Looks like it's time for another pickup. What about the girl? All we know is they killed her main squeeze. Just keeps muttering, zombies, zombies. Zombies. Excuse me, miss. Can I drive you home? Well, I guess I can't mourn forever. Yes, from the stench of the open grave, true love will always blossom. Earth Saucer Defense Headquarters, nerve center of Earthian resistance. Here it is, my little love vessel, America's most advanced supercomputer. Oh, Major, it looks so big and fat, I mean... Big and powerful, just like you. I built it myself, every last relay and vacuum tube. I'm a cybernetics genius. I have a degree in physics from the University of California at Santa Cruz. I'm never wrong. The zombies are terrified of me and will never see another saucer again. Unfortunately, I predict that zombie terror will continue. Ghastly death strikes from the skies. Look out, jugglers. Look out. <laughs> Cities everywhere. Smashed. Smashed to putty. Washington. Nation's capital. Citadel of freedom. Tourist center of the Northeast. Lots of monuments. I predict... They will refuse to listen to me. They don't realize that I, Krizko, am the narrator. I control this film. Man, as you know, our worst fears have been realized. Our planet is being subjected to ruthless alien attack. Flesh-eating zombies from outer space are invading here, 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 and... General, what's that going to leave us? This room, Corporal. Our brave Earthian lads are fighting and dying. Here, 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 over here. Over here is Betty. But it's here in this room. We're just planning a counterattack. We're facing an enemy that will stop at nothing to seize this planet for their own perverted purposes. And no one understands alien perversion more than our own Major Ten Fendel, Supreme Commander of uh, Earth's Zombie Defense Corps. Thank you, General. I have developed a plan for dealing with the zombie menace. Our plan, codenamed Operation Deep Fry, involves knocking the Earth out of its orbit with atomic bombs and hurling it directly into the sun. 
My calculations show that the zombies cannot stand the enormous temperatures to be found at the center of the sun, and they will be burned to a crisp. But Major, won't we all be burned to a crisp as well? Oh. Well, anyway, the first principle of war is planning without foreknowledge is doo-doo. We must know what the zombies will do next before we can defeat them. To help us, I've called the great psycho, Krizko, to help us predict the zombies' next move. The zombies are everywhere. The situation is far more serious than you know, General. Tell us, Krizko. Can we defeat the zombies? No, I predict that you cannot defeat the zombies. I predict the zombies will kill you all. Every one of you, swept away. I predict that they'll strip the living flesh from your bones. And they will destroy our earth. I predict pigs will fly. I predict that you're all doomed. That you're too stupid to listen to my advice. When the zombies come here to live, they won't let you live your lives as you've, as you've lived them. They'll force you to eat your own lips, and then you'll have to watch dogs and cats in fornicating come on, buddy, together. Come on, and go. then, it's and then the zombies man. will take over the entire government. They'll appoint me as their head, but you'll hustle me away this bullshit. We need a real plan, Major Bendover. And we decided to send you into space to fight the zombie source of fleet. You'll be flying the uh, <coughs> experimental space shuttle. Good luck. Oh, Kent, don't go. I just can't bear the thought of losing you. No, Barbecue, don't fret. It's my destiny to destroy the zombies. My destiny. I fought the zombies before, Barbecue. Not in this life alone, but in my past lives. Throughout the centuries, we've struggled with them taking one form or another. This is General Simplex. Cut that bimble band over and get your ass on a shuttle. Get going, you dog face. I've loved you ever since we were giant mouth-breathing slugs spawning in a prehistoric mud pit five million years ago. Kent, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, Barbecue. I must go now, Barbecue. I must go to meet my destiny. I'll always be true to you, Kent. Remember me, Barbecue? When a man is at the point of a horrible death, his heart turns to thoughts of happy times with his loved one. He dreams about music videos.
Forward, forward, into the gulfs of space. Our hopes ride with you, Major Bendover. Fight those zombies, grind their bones, eat their lunch, lock their hat, mow their lawns. Ra, ra, shish, boom, ba. to his superhuman physique and his YWCA membership, Major Kent Bendover survives to fight another day. Zombie terror. Lots and lots of zombie terror. Buildings damaged. People running away. Senseless arson. Yow. Hollywood subjugated. Oh, isn't this awful? Cities everywhere tremble under the arrogant, goose-stepping zombie flippers. Attention, Earthling! The zombies from outer space have landed. Evacuate the cities. Evacuate the countryside. Attention, Earthling! The zombies from outer space have landed. Evacuate the cities. Evacuate the countryside. The zombies from outer space have landed. Evacuate the city. Evacuate the countryside. Oh, don't hurt my baby. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Attention, Earthling. The zombies from outer space have landed. Evacuate the city. Evacuate the countryside. Earth's armies counterattack.
this zombie menace is getting way out of hand. I know. Let's drown ourselves and be together in a watery doom forever. No, it's my destiny to destroy the zombies first. Besides, the saucers are up there. The zombies are out there. And we're in here, safe for the moment. Ah, zombie footage on KIWL. Ha, 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 Major Bendover. We have taken over your pathetic TV set. We have taken over San Francisco, too. It was easy. Soon all Earthian cities will fall. Resistance is useless. Ha, ha, ha. See this severed head? Okay, it's not a real head, but it could be real. It could be yours. And watch out for falling appliances. All over the world, newspapers will spin out headlines. Headlines of terror, doom, and destruction. Yes, atomic annihilation will be unleashed against the zombies. Barbie, I brought you here to experience our counterattack against the zombie menace firsthand. Oh, Ken. I'm afraid it's become necessary to destroy Tacoma in order to save it. Together, we can experience the awesome beauty of an atomic blast. Oh, Major. Yes, it will be a beautiful sight to see. Some of the larger ones look like wonderful, blossoming flowers of flaming death. Oh, Kent. I don't think we'll have any trouble with our zombie friends after this. Let's just kill ourselves now. We'll never be this happy again as long as we live. Thousands of bombers will drop hundreds and hundreds of atomic bombs on the hapless zombies from outer space. Cities all over the world will be saved through obliteration. You fool! We weren't close enough to the blast. Now we have to go on living. I never want to see you again. Her bitter words echo in his brain. You, you fool! fool! You, you fool! fool! We, weren't we weren't close, close enough. enough. Now, now we have, we have to, to go, go on living. living. I never, I never want, want to see, see you again. again. Rejected by the love of his life, he goes looking for more love. No, Major, you won't find love in that bottle. Day after day, he stumbles along through the radioactive rubble. His heart and spirit are broken. The entire atomic wasteland seemed to be there only to ignore his pain. Should have listened to me, Major. <laughs> have the zombies been truly destroyed? A top scientific research team is sent into the total devastation left by the atomic attack. Look, see? It's me, 
I look great, don't I? Yes, the government will come crawling back to me, Crisco. My predictions always come true. Radiation count is down to a safe level. We can move into the main blast area. Yes, my psychic paranormal abilities detect no signs of the zombies. The atomic bombs must have destroyed them all. I predict the zombie menace is over. Our job is to find their bodies and report to Washington. We'd better get going. Zombie Agent 13 to head zombie. Zombie Agent 13 to head zombie. The Earthians have fallen for our trap. They are approaching zero ground, over and out. Professor, look there. Why, well, it's just an ordinary radioactive skull, Crisco. Radioactive? Yes. A skull? Yes. But not, Professor, not an ordinary skull. I predict that this skull will tell us where we can find the bodies of the zombies. What do you mean, Crisco? First, we must measure the kinetic energy of the skull in order to communicate successfully with the spirit world the kinetic energy frequencies must match exactly. Aha! It's just as I predicted. The kinetic energy is exactly 666.6 motorcycles on the Heinz scale. Yes, yes, many through history have tried to communicate with the dead. Even Thomas Edison. All have failed. Only I, Krizko, the man with the super psychic brain, only I can talk with the dead. Ooga, ooga, eeny, meeny, eeny, meeny, chilly beanie. The spirits are about to speak. Are they friendly spirits? Friendly? Just listen. Arg, 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 <coughs> arg. Dead person, tell us, where are the bodies of the zombies? Although I died an agonizing death by atomic radiation, I am glad my meaningless life was sacrificed to destroy the zombies. I was proud to be fried for my country. The zombies are over the next ridge. They're completely dead. They're totally harmless. You can trust me, I wouldn't lie. Go ahead, look for yourselves. This skull spoke the truth. I predict we will find the zombie bodies over the next ridge. Forward, men. Ha, 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 what a bunch of saps. Arg. Look there, man. Gee, it's kind of grown, hasn't it? Don't be concerned, officer. The bigger something is, the deader it is. The atomic radiation has caused this molecule to expand. Yes, I predict this is the death knell for all zombies everywhere. Men, go ahead and claim this first zombie body for America.
So the zombie fight is finished, huh? This is a job for Washington now. Hello, Washington. The Adams bomb failed. Those zombies are growing, growing, growing a mile a minute. We interrupt this program for a special bulletin. Latest developments on the zombie invasion. Due to complete incompetence on the part of Earth's military leaders, the recent A-bomb offensive against the zombies has, instead of destroying them, caused them to start growing larger and larger. Scientists estimate that the zombies affected by the atomic radiation are growing at the rate of a mile taller every minute. Some authorities point out that the zombies will soon grow so big that they will become too large for our planet and float off into space. But other authorities point out that by then, we'd all be dead anyway. Sounds pretty gloomy, doesn't it, folks? <laughs> In other news, girl age 10 gives birth to her mother. And for our close-up segment on dealing with hostility, part three, goofballs, pinheads, pencil-necked geeks. Should they be allowed to live? <laughs> we say no. That segment will be at 11.30 after Cholestomy News. Stay tuned for the best in news with Kill TV. is your mission. You must tell Frylate him more. Ha, ha, ha. On my honor, I can't bend over promise to do my duty to God my country and to obey the laws of the Scots. Bend over. Submit to zombie power or we will Frylate your brain and turn you into a drooling husk. Fry only him more. He has no brain to fry, great one. When will you zombies learn? Your evil will only turn on itself. Tell us, Bendover, what is your mission? You must tell. You zombies are gonna lose. <laughs> you can kill me. But everything that's good and kind and nice in the world will combine against you because... Ah! Because you zombies are bozos! The Earthian has called us bozo. Remove his organs of sexual reproduction and throw them away. These Earthian bull cutters should do the trick. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Now... Now call out his intestines. Ha, ha, ha. That will teach you to call us bozos. Wait. Replace his gonads. I have a plan. I'm sorry. I can't merge my flesh with that of an alien. We can bring together the great zombie and the races in a hot alien race. Finally, this is my last time. It is a time to take a
searching a sword Easy to take Mesmerizing darkness To the planet they come Into your living room Tangled in You're one hot ticket yourself, babe. But I'm an Earthian, and you're a zombie. We're like two barges that pass in the night. But Kent, when I'm with you, I am no longer a zombie. You are my only love now. I would dare in danger. Betray my entire race to feel your greasy hair once again. To smell your hot saliva drooling all over me. Gee, now that I'm being held prisoner here, we may not be seeing that much of each other. I can have the same agent you can bend over. I know all the secret passageways, but there's one thing. What's that, my darling? It would be my death if they caught me. You must take me with you. I want to live with you on Earth. I want to be your Earthian wife. If I come with you, will you protect me? <laughs> You've been taken in by all that zombie propaganda. We Earthians respect life in all forms, no matter how disgusting. Then this is how we escape. Zombies are in the cities. Thanks, Charlie. Who's that? A new day dawns for us both. Do you think I'll make a good Earthian wife? Okay, boys, kill it. Pick up the pieces, boys. I brought this one back for dissection. Earth Defense Headquarters. The last grim bastion of Earthian resistance to the zombie evil. A terrible secret is about to be revealed. Dr. Scheisskopf, is this zombie animal, vegetable, or mineral? They're all for rent! You will please keep your voice down. The zombie is now dead. It is alive. It could wake at any moment and kill us all. Like anything evil, it is immortal. It cannot die. It's pretty darn hard to believe in my book, Doctor. Immortal? You can't be serious, Doctor. Are you telling us this thing is alive? Yes, yes, Herr General. It is alive. Balderdash. That sounds like a lot of sheep dip to me, Doctor. Bah! You are all a pack of crates. I have demonstrated that there is life on other worlds, and it is evil life. Ever since my operation, messages have been beamed into my head from zombies, zombies from outer space. They warned me of their coming, but now I have them where I want them.
You see? Still alive. Even if you were to cut off its head and its arms and its legs and its dissolve its body into acid and then flush the acid down the toilet, it would still be alive. But Dr. Scheisskamp, you brain boys have to come up with an answer. How are we going to fight something you can't kill? That is a good question, General. Perhaps there is no answer. I don't know what you ever saw in her anyway, Ken. Uh, Barbie, I, I had to. Gee, I wonder if they feel pain like we do. Ah! The zombie. I was right! The zombie's a bio-constructed organism! It is part living and part machine! But it is all evil. Nothing can stop them. They are immortal. We are doomed! Meanwhile, a savage battle rages on the surface for control of the Earth. Zombies fight with unfair weapons of super science. Earthian weapons are like cheap fireworks compared to them. Nonsense, Doctor. Goodness must win over badness. Think of all the young children, the happy children, Doctor. Think of summer days and ice cream and circuses. These zombies, these awful zombies must not be allowed to win. There must be an answer. We will try, Herr Oferben. We will try. Doctor, think of soda pops and, and little girls wanting to grow. I can't take it! I give up! I don't want it! I surrender! Please, please save me! I don't want to die! He has no now. Take him away! Take him away! Stop! Stop! Doctor, you must find an answer. I mean, think of waffles and, and shoelaces and, and rubber goods. Ah, uh, shut up, shut up, you miserable pinhead. I have found it. Solonite, that is the answer. Solonite, you don't mean... Yes, Sir General, Solonite, the only weapon with particles so small that they can explode the very rays of the sun itself. The rays will get into the zombies and explode them into goy mush. But doctor, how could something so small as a particle of sunlight be so powerful? Ah, mein Liebchen. The smaller something is, the more powerful the explosion that it will make. You see, zolonite is the ultimate bet. Mr. President, we have the answer. Deploy Solar Night. What about barbecue and Doc Scheisskopf? I don't care about them. I want to live. Let them fry. Get going, soldier.
Put me in touch with Solar Knight Command. Staff car X1 to 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 Solar Knight Command. Solar Knight Command to all units. All communications are down. This is Solar Knight Command. Sorry, sir. Can't get hold of Solar Knight Command. Too much electromagnetic interference from the zombie rays. Blue Hellfire. All our Solar Knight cannons are deployed. They're only waiting for the order to begin the light ray chain reaction. But we can't get hold of Solar Knight Command to give that order. You know what that means, Major? That we're going to give up, sir. Never, Major, never. Our only chance is to reach the communication center on Communication Center Mountain. There we can contact all the Solar Knight units ourselves. It's the only chance we have to destroy the zombies once and for all. But, General, Communication Center Mountain lies in the heart of zombie-infested territory. We'll be blasted as soon as we show up on their scanners. We'll all die. I'm too pretty to die, General. Please, 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 can't we send someone else, General? Please! The ghosts of our sacred ancestors would never forgive us, Major, if we did not offer our lives as a supreme sacrifice. Zombie annihilation is not to be feared. Even though it's painful, disgusting death at the hands of perverted aliens is to be endured for the cause of victory, even welcomed. Onward to the communication center, driver. Even if we fail, our blood will water the tree of ultimate victory and nourish the generations of vengeance to come. Onwards, soldier. I want to go home. My inner spiritual strength, my will, is stronger than that of the zombies. Looks like we've got company, sir. Oh no, look out. It's the deadly zombie death pacer. effort has failed. But at least we shall perish as glorious heroes, not as sniveling cowards. Major Bendover, get rid of that banana. Don't you care what you look like when they find your charred corpse? 
Ma Major, that's an order. All right. Peaceful, happy mimes, struggling for peace in a world torn by war. in the road, sir. Looks like they're beautifully acting out a vision of a world of cooperation and happiness. Mimes. Disgusting creatures. Run them over forthwith, driver. Yes, sir. <laughs> So perish all such filthy traitors to man's ultimate destiny. Communication center up ahead, sir. General Simplex, to all solar night units, commence exploding light rays now! Those zombies will be laughing up the other side of their sleeves now, General. I just hope we're in time, Major. Attention. We bring you a special report from the studios of Kill TV. Nuclear bombs have failed. I repeat, have failed to destroy the zombies. The Pentagon has decided to use America's most secret weapon, Solar Knight. This weapon, developed for many years, actually explodes the rays of the sun itself. Cities are quarantined. Anyone attempting to leave the target area will be fired upon by the Army and National Guard units. Zombie contaminated bodies will be incinerated. Yes, it may be necessary to destroy America's cities in order to save them. The Solar Knight attack will commence in exactly 10 seconds. Cover yourselves with wet newspapers. We repeat, wet newspapers when the light rays begin to explode. Fellow Americans, we must use this terrible solar night weapon in order to destroy the zombies. And is a cheap reference to an earlier film. God bless us all, and good luck. Solar night. Solar night. Solar Knight! Take that, pesky zombies. Your screams of agony can only be the sweetest of music to any unperverted Earthian. Die! Die! Ha 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 ha! Look at them burn! Ha 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 ha! Man's last-ditch effort prevailed. With any luck, by this time tomorrow, the zombies will be banished from the Earth forever. It'll be yesterday's news. You know, Major, a girl could really fall for a guy like you. 
Not really sure which girl. Happy Earth? Hardly. For on the doomed planet Plankton, the head zombie will come to a terrible decision. You have seen the terrible story of zombies from outer space with your own eyes. You have seen that each of us are helpless. The scientist and his gadgets, the housewife and her appliances, even innocent children with their toys, all are impotent in the face of zombie terror. Do you believe that zombies have invaded our planet? Do you believe that our Earth has been blown up and destroyed? Can you prove it never happened? Tango! 